Well, my bike is still out here. I gotta take it back in. And of course the sun's going down and the moon is right in there. Really pretty. And, oh, look at this. We got more mushies popping up out of the wood chips. Those look like probably wax caps. Oops, it didn't get any of the bottom parts of it. It's best if you can get some of the um, root for the identification, but. I don't know. Ah, oh, there it goes. I got the whole thing that time. That's breaking down the wood chips. Turning the wood chips into soil. And, um, adding to the life in the soil. Fungus is the basis of all life on Earth. The original trees were just really massive mushrooms. Everything that lives needs fungus to live. And so this is not by any means a bad thing. They're, they're wonderful to have. But there's also a bunch of them right here. All through here. That's neat. That's very neat. Ah, so this is the garden after three days of storms. Following what seems like probably about a month of heavy, heavy drought. We clearly had more than three inches of rain because that saucer is full and overflowing. And you can see this was very alive a few weeks ago that the, um, the drought has heavily impacted the plants. I am gonna trim that because this is a branch I've been hitting my head off of anyway. So, oh, even more. Nice. So some things have been definitely damaged. I'm starting to get milkweed seeds and I think I'm just gonna collect them because I really don't need more milkweed here. Oh, look, this one actually just completely is falling out of its casing. Let's just collect those and assume them ripe. And I'll put them inside. Bag them up for people who want lily smelling, wonderful milkweed with edible pods. The hutch is no progress. I actually slept in really bad today, so I did not get much done either. Got a whole bunch of beans that are loving the rain. Look at that harvest. Oh, that's going to be part of dinner tonight. And another harvest is just past all of this, which I could stand to mulch underneath. Look at this. Look at those and they're coming in in big handfuls now on look at that oh they're so wonderfully tasting this is the joan jay thornless which i do have potted up up in here as well got more here as you can see more here nope one just fell in. I got it. I see it. Oh, these are going straight in my mouth. Ow. <laughs> but, oh, they're so good. They're like candy. Mmm. So, yeah, I'll have to come back through and harvest the rest of those. Apples are doing well. They ripen towards the end of September to the end of October. They'll be turning yellow, though, so I'll be able to tell when they're ready. And there's not a whole lot additional food right now, except 
Well, this was full yesterday during the storm, but it was just too chilly and wet to come out and show you. And besides, I had a really strange work schedule yesterday and didn't finish till it was after dark anyway. Um, but I am still getting short little asparagus spears in the late summer, early fall, which is really unusual. I think the additional water without flooding them is doing them a lot of good. But I also still haven't addressed the yellow jacket nest that's in there. These flowers are edible, but I just have had too many of them so far this year. I'm not feeling super about it. Still getting... Oh, this is... Oh, that shouldn't be there like that. Um, but i got a couple of little... Little maters. i am got to make sure I gotta let a couple of these go to seed or put some seed down or something because usually I am absolutely drowning in tomatoes this time of year of this size and they're they're really just sweet and candy like mm. and that holds true um and you can hear the neighbors they're having a little family get together and mm, those are so good with some peppers coming up. Let's go see if there's any um, signs of the the mushrooms that I introduced. We would hope to see wine caps in here. I see critter digging, and I see this branch continuing to protect from critter digging. But I do not yet see wine caps. There was also a bunch in here. Some. Um, one of those invasive um, sweet peas. Yeah, I don't see any signs of them back here. The elderberry that I put a cutting in of is doing really good. I might end up putting that extra um, comfrey back there after all. Despite all the research on trying, I'd like to line the whole edge with something that won't get too tall and will keep the neighbor's weeds at bay. These are doing really good. And one of those just so happened to start to take on its own just off of a branch back there with the elderberry and I might put it back because Pulling the seed heads off of the grass that's coming through the fence is just kind of a lot. It's just kind of a lot. Still haven't seen anything come off of this quote-unquote vine peach. I don't know what this is gonna... Like, is this gonna be anything? What is this? You know? It's just... Oh, there's something. I'm getting towards the end of this video, though, so I guess I'll just show you. We'll have to save seeds off of that if they're any good. That's supposed to be a native plant. Vine peach. I'll have to look it up. Uh, that's after a couple days of rain. Take care.